I'm Sarah Hodgson from When Dogs Talk, Sarah Listens. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a favorite technique I made up called the Loving Touch. I use it to bond with dogs and connect with dogs. I also use it if a dog's feeling overwhelmed, overexcited, or a little afraid. And here today to help me teach you about the Loving Touch is Rosie. Rosie's a year old Basset Hound and she's just delicious. So when I'm doing the loving touch, what I do is I sit on the edge of a chair and I create a cove out of my legs. And then I encourage the dog to come under me. In this position, I'm serving as the, the loving mommy. I'm serving as the guardian and protector. And it makes dogs feel safe. Rosie, Rosie, under. I'm going to slap my thigh and I'm going to use the pressure point on her waist to cove her in. What a good girl. And then flattening my hand, as uh, similar to the mother's tongue, I'm going to pet her in long, soothing, loving strokes. What a good girl, Rosie. What a good girl. Now the first loving touches I do are going to be at the house when things are quiet to connect with her and to bond. And then once she feels reassured by this position and I can see that it's calming her, I'm going to use it whenever we go out in the world beyond. If I'm in the waiting room at the vet or I'm sitting at the cafe and I can tell she's feeling anxious about a situation, I'm going to tap my thigh, create a nice space for her, and call her under. Good girl. Under loving touch. What a good girl, Rosie. What a good girl. Thank you for helping show everybody how to do the loving touch. What a good girl she is.